In the last week of 2024, I had this cold climate heat pump installed along with a new high efficiency gas furnace in my 1880s house in St. Paul, Minnesota. The heat pump install was specced with this Honeywell Prestige thermostat and I didn't even check, I just assumed that in this second decade of the 21st century that all thermostats were Wi-Fi connected, especially ones that were $400. But it turns out this one isn't. That is unless you add an accessory to it. So you need to get the Honeywell Home Red Link Internet Gateway, which I got used on Amazon because I think a lot of people buy them and they can't get them to work because there is an issue with it. We'll see if I run into that issue when I install this. It's a gateway issue with newer routers that I don't think Honeywell planned for it. I think there is a workaround, but let's see if I need to work around. Oh, look, I'm sorry guys. It's only allowed to be installed by trained, experienced technicians, so uh, that's not me or you, I guess. Oh, what the heck, let's give it a try. Let's see. Oh, plug it into the wall and then plug it into the router. Hmm, boy, better find a professional. Okay, so I plugged it into the router. Now you got to go into this. I showed you in my other video how to get into the installer menu. So you got to know your you got to know your um, special code, which is on the back side of this. It's a four-digit code. And then it says you got to go into wireless device manager. I don't know. It's not very clear, but I'm going to do add device. And then I think that I have to go push the button. So press and release the connect button. So again, I got this used and I couldn't get it to connect because it didn't seem like the button was pushing. And here's where the button is. Yeah, there's there actually is no button here. I think this had broken off in its previous owner. Sometimes ordering used stuff off Amazon is a crapshoot. Okay, I've received the second copy of the red link thing which very oddly that because I had it delivered to the UPS store instead of to my office was the same price new as the one that didn't work used cost me well let's install this one the same way and see if it works yeah, wireless device manager we're gonna add device then we're gonna go up and push that button so we've got some time now all right, we've got our device plugged in and hooked up to the internet. Now, let's push the button on the end. See if anything happens. Yes, something's happening now. It didn't happen before. Let's go look at our thermostat. All right, that's good. Gateway added. Okay. I guess we're done. Do you have more? No, not at this time. All right. Now, what we're going to do, let's view the connected device. Yeah, so it's, it's the gateway is connected. So now I got to download the app and see if we can get it to work with this. All right. Well, there's nothing on the box, there's no website, nothing to tell us, but it does have this residio. And if I just go to my Play Store and look up Honeywell, Wi-Fi thermometer, blah, 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 blah. There is this Residio Smart Home. We're gonna, oh, there's another one, Total Comfort. It's probably one of those. Ah, if I look at these, so there's two manuals. There's an install manual and an operating manual. It does say that, go to t mytotalconnectcomfort.com validate this account. I'm going to see if I can do it from my phone uh, using this Total Comfort app. And we'll see if I can do it with that. Yeah, I was not able to do it from the uh, from my phone. You have to go into this mytotalconnectcomfort.com and set up or create an account before you can access it. So I'm gonna go in and do that and then see if we can access it from my phone. It's interesting that Honeywell requires this to be 
installed only by a professional, but then presumably that professional would set up this account and sign off on this privacy statement um, that, among other things, says that Honeywell can collect data about how you're using your thermometer, including audio and video clips, if applicable to the device, who knows, but, or well in. All right, I, after registering on my computer, it sent me a confirmation to my email, I clicked that and then it flipped me over on my phone to this registration process and now I think it's checking to make sure everything looks good and but it looks like we're connecting once I I put in the MAC number and the other number those are printed on the bottom of the little um, red link device all right now it says it's successful and then it tells you to download I already downloaded it but let's see so yeah it goes right to this total connect comfort allow us to improve no I'm not gonna allow that all right now we seem to have the interface which matches where I'm at so I think I think we're good to go all right so you don't have to be a professional to get this red link installed I think you can do it it's pretty easy just follow what I did and if you have any questions put them in the comments bye well, I just want to voice one grievance with you so the the app just like the thermostat just has the ability so we can go to s system change our heat cool auto off fan settings and then set a schedule but you know what this thermostat doesn't allow us to do um, although we can go into user uh, the installer options and tell it when peak and off peak time is we can't change the switch off point between the heat pump and the gas furnace depending on the on the time of date peak and off peak and that's something that really needs to be added to the functionality of this um, thermostat I guess I will take that up with Honeywell on your behalf and see if we can get that changed so that our thermostat knows when it should be using the electric electric heat pump or if it should be you know using the gas furnace when the electricity cost is eight times higher than off-peak time. So that's my gripe. Otherwise, um, this all seems to work just fine. I mean, it's pretty basic, but I can do that from afar. So there you go.